Put your hands together and give God the praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God in the highest. Hey, God, hallelujah. We welcome you today, Resurrection Sunday, the third day that our Lord and Savior rose. Hallelujah to God. They thought they had him. They thought they had him, glory to God, but he let them know nobody, nobody takes my life. Hallelujah to God. We bring you greetings, hallelujah, from Community Refuge Church of Christ here in Manalapan, New Jersey, under the leadership of our own Apostle Fred Rubin and First Lady Teresa Rubin and our Assistant Pastor Elder Barry Williams. We praise God for all the elders, the ministers, the deacons, the mothers, hallelujah, the saints of God, hallelujah, being in the house of God today, hallelujah to God. I'm excited about Jesus, hallelujah. I'm excited, you know why? Because he rose, hallelujah, and I'm excited, hallelujah. He did it for me. He did it for you, glory be to God, and you need to be glad about it. You need to be happy about it. Hallelujah to God. Oh, oh my God. We're going to have some church up in here. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Because our Dr. Luke talked about this morning. True worshipers must worship them in spirit and in truth. Do I have some true worshipers in here today? Do I have some true worshipers in here today? Do I have some true worshipers in here today? Hallelujah to God. If you are a true worshiper, stand on your feet and give God glory. Hallelujah, because he's risen. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Every time I think of the goodness of Jesus and all, oh, I said, oh, that he has done for me. My, my soul, my soul, cries out hallelujah. Hey, God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yes, God, hallelujah. One of the things that I honed in on when Dr. Luke was talking about true worshipers. She said that you don't have to worry about what anybody looks like. You don't have to worry about what it looks like. Hallelujah. You don't have to worry about it. Glory to God. But if you know the true and living God, if you know, hallelujah, 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 this is a celebration today. 
Because he rose. He is risen. The angels, hallelujah, looked at the women of God and said, look here, why stand ye here gazing? Why are you here looking for the living among the dead? Hallelujah. God is living today. He's living in our heart. He's living in your heart. He's living in your heart. Hallelujah. Won't you praise him? <laughs> Won't you give him glory? Hallelujah. He didn't have to heal me, but he did. He didn't have to set me free, but he did. He didn't have to bless me, but he did. He didn't have to save my soul, but he did. And for that, I'm grateful. So I'm not going to apologize for anybody. If you see somebody running around this church today, it's because, hallelujah, God has done something special in their life. Hallelujah to God. And we come to magnify. We come to celebrate him today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. The anointing. Hallelujah. Mm. Let the power fall, Lord. Let the power fall. <laughs> my God. We, oh, my, my, my. We thank and praise God for seeing all of those that are here in the sanctuary. We thank God for you joining us on Zoom and Facebook. We thank God for you. And once again, you know, the doors of the church are open. Amen. We have an overflow room. We're doing all the right things in the sight of God. And you know what? God has us in his mighty hand. And we're doing everything that is possible to keep you safe in the name of the Lord. But we're going to move on and have, you know, like I always say, we're going to get this party started. Hallelujah. And it's a party today because it's a celebration of the risen Christ. Hallelujah. So at this time, we're going to ask those that can to stand and we're going to have our prayer coming from our own Elder Nicholson. He's going to come and lead us in prayer and we're going to go further in the Lord in the name of Jesus. And after that, you will hear the praise team in Jesus. And Elder Nicholson, come at this time. Let's receive him with a hearty amen. Amen. Shall we look to the Lord? Eternal God, our Savior. In the name of your Son, Jesus. Lord, we are so, so thankful to you this morning. We are so grateful to you, Lord, to be accounted among the land of the living. God, I praise you this morning. I praise your name this morning. Because when, when we lay down last night, There was no guarantee that we were going to wake up this morning. <laughs> but Lord, I praise you right now. Because when, when death seemed to come around us last night, you said, not yet. Just a little while longer. Amen. Oh, God, I, I praise you. I praise you, oh, God. Because you got all, all power is in your hand. You are the one that give it life, and you are the one that allowed to take it away, oh, God. God, I praise you this morning. I praise you this morning. God, God, we come to tell you thank you this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for a portion of life this morning, help and strength. We just praise. Been better to us 
than we could ever be to ourselves. Lord, I invite your presence. Just come on in this morning. you I praise you I give you all the glory this morning for yet what you're going to do this day oh God I pray oh God this morning the hands of the enemy oh God God I bound everything that not like you I plead the blood this morning I plead the blood of Jesus that come against us, oh God. For you declare, Lord, no weapon that form against us shall prosper, oh God. I pray this morning, oh God, to remember everyone that is gathered here this morning. Lord, I don't know what your sons and your daughter need, but Lord, you know every need, oh God. I pray to meet the need this thing. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh God, remember everything that is said and done this day, oh God. Let us do it all to the glory and honor of you, oh God. I pray to get the glory, get the honor, oh God, this morning, oh God. For the song to say, I don't know what you come to do, but I come, amen, to praise him, amen. Because he's been good. To me, amen. And I praise you, O oh God. Bless, O oh God, the, the man of God as he shall stand to declare your word. I pray, O oh God, to I ever anoint him, O oh God. Not only anoint him, but anoint the word, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, bless us, O oh God. And we won't fail to give thy name glory. We won't fail to praise you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, yes. Praise oh. the Lord, everybody. Yes. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on and worship God. We thank you. Come on. Uh, we bless your name, Lord God. Come on and worship him. He's alive. Hallelujah. He's alive. Hallelujah. Come on and worship my father. Oh, God, we thank you. Come on and worship my father. I'm so glad you did it for us, God. I'm so glad you did it for me. Hallelujah. The psalmist said I was sinking in sin. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sinking. Hallelujah. Oh, but I thank you, God. I thank you for deliverance. Hallelujah. I thank you, God, because you kept us, Lord God. You kept us. You never left us, Lord God. You protected us, Lord God. You protected us, Lord God. And 
for this we give you thanks. We thank you for providing for us, Lord God. We thank you for being our way maker. We thank you for being our way maker, for being our shelter. We thank you, God. We thank you for dying on that rugged cross and for saving us souls, Lord God. For this we give you thanks, hallelujah. The song says, at the cross, at the cross, I thank God for the cross. I thank God for the cross. Any thankful folks here this morning? It's the cross that kept us. Yes. It's the cross that delivered us. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. At last and deep, my Savior.
glory. Come on. He alone is worthy. Come on, kind of At the cross. At the cross. At the cross. When they hung him high and they stretched him wide. It was at the cross where he delivered me. It was at the cross where he delivered me. It was at the cross where he set me free. He set me free. He set me free. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank God. I praise God for the cross. Hallelujah. And because of the cross, he's a lion of Judah. He's a lion of Judah. There is nobody like my God. There is nobody like my God. There's nobody like my God. They hung him high. They stretched him wide. He hung his head for me. He died. Nobody like him. Hey. No, 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 no. Yeah. The Lion of Judah. The Lion of Judah. You are my Lord and King. You are my Lord and King. The Lion of Judah. You. We thank you for dying on the cross. We thank you for your blessing. Come on, let's go to the beginning. The Lion of Judah.
to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. He is the Lion of Judah. He is, hallelujah, the Lion of Judah. Oh my God. He's my battle axe in the time of battle. Hallelujah. He's my shelter in the time of storm. He's my healer. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. And I'm going to lift his name on high. I'm going to lift his name on high. I'm going to lift his name on high. All that I've been through, I'm going to lift his name on high. All where I'm going, I'm going to lift his name on high. Come on and shout glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. Hey! Hallelujah! Yeah. Ma, ma, ma. Look, he's worthy to be lifted up. Hallelujah. He's worthy to give praise unto him. He's worthy. You know why? Because last Friday, they took him to Calvary. Hallelujah. Thought they were going to destroy the temple. <laughs> Thought they were going to take care of this man that was changing the face of the earth, that was changing everything that they believed in, every law, everything that they um, came before him. But they didn't realize that he came to fulfill the law. <laughs> he came to fulfill the law. We are in the fulfillment stage. Mm. He, mm. Why do you think everything that's going on these days is like wreaking havoc? The, 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 the atmosphere is wreaking havoc. 
Folk don't know how to act anymore. Hallelujah to God. You look at them wrong, they're ready to shoot you. Hallelujah. The Bible says that the love of man is going to wax cold. In the last days, we are living in the last days. You can't even look at somebody. Can't even say hello to somebody no more. But we're living in the last days. But yet, this day my Savior rose. Mm, with all power in his hand. Hallelujah. To fulfill the word of God. To fulfill the things that we are about to go through. But my God, I am happy. Because I know my Redeemer liveth. Come on, put your hands together and give God the glory. If you love him like you love him, if you love him, if you love him, give him praise. Hey, my God, I got, I just got a Shabbat in my spirit. I just got a Shabbat in my spirit. That is a high praise. You know why? Because God didn't have to, he didn't have to do it, but he did. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Two years ago, we were packed down in a pandemic. We were all locked up. But don't you know Jesus has the key? He has the key to salvation. He has the key for you to be released. I know, I know. You weren't expecting this this morning, but you know what? That's what he went to the cross for. He went to the cross for you and me. He bared, hallelujah, 39 stripes for you and me. They ripped his skin, hallelujah, with the, oh, with the, with, with the whip, oh God. We had just tore for you and me. They nailed him in his feet for you and me. They nailed him in his hands for you and me. Then the Bible said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. So when they lifted up that cross that suspended him between heaven and earth, he opened up the door for salvation. He opened up the door for you and me. For you and me. This is the day that God has done triumphantly in your, on your behalf. So while you're sitting here in the service, think about it. Do you want to serve a God that has risen again? Salvation is yours today. Don't let this day slip by without calling on the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because that's what he did for you and I. I'm glad about it. Are you glad about it? Are you glad that he died on Calvary's cross, but yet rose again with all power in his hand? <laughs> you know, I got I to gotta move on. We're going to get the scripture. I know, I know. We're going to get scripture. For those young folk like me who like Marvel, he's greater than any superhero that ever lived that ever came about. He is greater, young people. He's greater. <laughs> they call Thor the God of Thunder. <laughs> but we have a King of Kings. <laughs> we have the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah to God. I know, I, I know. Some of y'all looking at me like, okay, what are you talking about? But think about it. We have to bring it towards the young people as well. Come on, Sister Bullock. I got to get out the way. We're going to have our scripture reading this morning. Let's praise receive the Lord, Sister Bullock in the name the Lord, of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I'm going to be reading Luke 24, verse 1 through 8, King James Version, and it reads, Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came into the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre, and they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. 
And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spoke unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, it looks so beautiful out there. <laughs> Great to see everyone's faces in the sanctuary. He has risen. He has risen. Amen. I come to you this morning to briefly read some announcements to you, and I'm going to get out the way because we have in church this morning. Amen. Amen. Um, Monday, this Monday, we have Mountain Moving Prayer virtually, Mountain Moving Prayer at 7 p.m. It's on our Zoom, uh, standard Zoom line, uh, phone number and conference ID. That's this Monday evening, 7 p.m., virtual move, Mountain Moving Prayer. 7 p.m., 7 p.m., virtual Hour of Fellowship. That's Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. The instructor for this week is Elder Savoy. Elder Savoy, and his topic is When All Else Fails, My Hope is in Thee. When All Else Fails, My Hope is in Thee. That's 7 p.m. this Tuesday evening on the Hour of Fellowship, and that is also on Zoom. Uh, Wednesday, Wednesday evening, there is evangelism teaching with Elder Bullock, evangelism teaching with Elder Bullock, that will also be on Zoom, um, and that's at 7 p.m., 7 p.m. this Wednesday evening, uh, that is the evangelism teaching with Elder Bullock on Zoom. All right, we will continue our service, our weekly service next Sunday, starting with the education hour. Next week's instructor is our assistant pastor, Elder Barry Williams. Elder Barry Williams will be our instructor next Sunday at 1030. That will be on Zoom. And then we'll continue our morning worship on Zoom and Facebook Live at 11, 1130. I mentioned a couple of weeks ago to save the date, save the date. Sunday, May 15th, Sunday, May 15th, following service, we have a special event planned here at Community Refuge. So still going to keep it a little bit more of a secret. We'll let, it, we'll let the cat out the bag shortly. But just mark your calendars, please. May 15th, that's a Sunday, immediately following service, we will have a special event here at Community Refuge. Amen, amen. Um, for those uh, not going through the usual schedule, our weekly schedule is posted on our, our, sorry, on our church website. So if you want the details for the Zoom or um, the times for each of our services, again, that will be or is posted on our website. As is, we believe, we believe in the power of prayer, wonder working, miracle working power of prayer. We have a long list. Um, we have now posted our list for prayer on our Facebook page. And we ask that we keep one another um, in prayer as we lift up those special prayers as well. Amen, amen, amen. I believe that's it for announcements. Uh, welcome up Lady Rubin for words of encouragement. this is on. Praise the Lord. Give me a little bit more value. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fears are gone. Because I know, I know he holds my future and my life is worth the living just because he lived. Resurrection Sunday. Happy Resurrection Sunday. And that's because he rose that we can live again. I read a scripture and it said, John 3, 16. This is a very familiar scripture to you all. It said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him 
should not perish, but have everlasting life. I got everlasting life. I know I got everlasting life. I thought about that scripture and I thought, which one of us would be willing to give our only begotten son to come and die for sinners like you and I? But God sent his only begotten son to die for us that we could have life. And on last week, as Bishop was preaching uh, last week on the Passion Week and communion, I was thinking about this thing that somebody loved us, loved me. I ain't going to say us, loved me. And he loved you too so much that he was willing to die, to suffer, bleed, and die that I might have life. But I had a moment. I have a true worship moment, Dr. Luke. I had a true worship. When I started thinking about what God had done just for me, he was beaten. He was scorned. He was spit upon. He was crucified with sinners just for me, that the word of God would be fulfilled, that I could obtain eternal life. I got right happy in my soul, and I started crying. I started running. I started jumping. My mascara was running all down my face. I didn't even care who was looking at me because I was so grateful for what God had done just for me. There was a song that says, if no one else had sinned but me, God came and died for little old me. And I am so grateful. And I just want to encourage you today to never take for granted God's love for you and all the things that he did just for you. Reflect on his love every day and give him praise every single every single day every single moment thank him for everything because he's an awesome 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 god god bless you bishop Ruth. praise the lord everybody how about we just praise the lord for a second or two oh hallelujah hallelujah with or without music with or without the praise team just because God has been good to us. Let me look around the building and ask the question. Anybody here that God's been good to? Anybody here that know God loves you? Lady Rupert, they loved you enough that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe it in him shall not perish. That's enough to praise God for, isn't it? Oh, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Sister Tucker reminded us that we're a church that believes in the power of prayer. That's why we pray. If you didn't believe God could do anything, it wouldn't matter if you prayed or not. How many folks know God can? I need some real faith, folks, today. As we think about Resurrection Sunday, I need some real faith folks. Folks that are going to go from I know he's able to I know he's going to do it. Not just that he's able, but he's going to do it. I need those folks that need a miracle and have enough faith to step out of he's able to he's going to do it. And as you stand with me, start thanking him. Now, Sister Stevenson, you can thank him for yesterday's healing. But I want you to thank him for something for the future. Everybody in here can thank him for, for yesterday's miracle. But I'm thanking him for tomorrow's miracle. I'm thanking him. I'm not going to tell my neighbor, I'm going to look unto the hills. For 
witch come in my help. We shout thank you. Then I might shout hallelujah. I might add, Lord, I love you. Father, in the name of your son, this is your house, a house of prayer, and we thank you. A house that we can come together to seek your face and to receive the blessings and the miracles that you have for us. Speak right now. Speak, Lord. Speak into the hearts, into the minds of your children. I bind every spirit of doubt. I cast it out. I bind everything that would say no when God would say yes. Oh, send you anointing. Send you anointing of healing. Send you anointing of strength and comfort. Oh, come on and thank him with me. Come on and thank him with me. Yes, thank him. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Now find somebody that doesn't have the same level of faith that you do. And tell them, yes, God's going to do it. Find somebody a little shaky in their faith. Somebody that can't grasp what you grasp. And tell them, yes, God is going to do it. God, my God, my God. Yes. He's going to do it. Song says, I got a feeling. Everything's going to be all right. But I like the next part that said, Jesus told me. Come on, sing it just a little bit. Hallelujah. I got a feeling. Everything's going to be all right. Everything's gonna be alright. Oh, I got a feeling everything's gonna be alright. Be alright. Be alright. Be alright. Oh, she, Jesus told me.
this is Resurrection Sunday. Now, Easter is all right for those that don't know much about what happened. But those of us that know that he died, was buried, and on the third day, tell somebody, on the third day, what happened? He rose declaring all power. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Now, I'm going to thank you and give you a chance to give later in the service, but I want to go to God's Word right now. Somebody say, let's go to God's Word. <laughs> you know, I, I thought about service yesterday. I thought about service today, and I said, we're going to shout today. We're going to praise Him today. We're going to magnify him. If we don't shout any other time, we're going to shout today. Kind of nudge somebody. You ready to shout? You ready to shout? Hallelujah. Now, in case somebody isn't used to this style of worship, they have a more of a quiet, comfortable type of worship. We worship this way because we fully comprehend and understand that we were on our way to hell. You better tell somebody, you were on your way to hell. I was on my way, you were on. But Jesus, in fact, if I don't say anything else, I could just say those two words. But Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Let me read a little bit of God's Word. I'm going back to Luke, the 24th chapter. Hallelujah. Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared and serving others with them. Now, I told everybody, you don't need to bring your spices or ointments today because he's not dead. He's alive. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre. And they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass as they were much perplexed. There were about, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here but is risen. Now, listen to this part. Remember 
how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day. Can you say that? The third day? Rise again. Let me use quickly for a thought because we're going to do some more shouting. Are you listening? Are you listening? When we talk about Resurrection Sunday, there's so much to celebrate. One of the things, and Lady Ruben gave reference to it, while he was on the cross, he had the power and the authority to come down. He could have called for a legion of angels, would have taken care of everything. But he looked beyond the cross, and when I say he saw the joy, he saw you, he saw you, he saw you, he saw each one of us, and he refused to come down. They mocked him, they scorned him, they ridiculed him, but because of his love, that's a lot to celebrate. We can celebrate his power over death. We can celebrate that he sent forth the promise of the Father. Yes, we're going to start our march to Pentecost. So much to celebrate. But it was also a lesson in there intended to expand our level of expectation. One of the greatest challenges that a child of God has is to break loose of self and to grasp hold to what God is not just showing, but saying. Last week, there was a whole lot of shouting done as we remembered what happened on Palm Sunday. The Bible spoke about how they saw the wondrous works of the Lord. And they praised them, they praised them, they praised them. But we can't just see. We've got to hear what God is saying. There must be a sensitivity in the life of the saint to hear what the Spirit is saying. We pray the prayer, give me an ear to hear what the Spirit have to say unto the church. These faithful believers, these faithful women, praise the Lord that waited to be able to come to the place where they laid his body. They were bringing spices and ointments to anoint his body. But that's a strange statement. They loved him. They were going to anoint his body. But it was a statement. Our dream is over. Our desires have been lost somewhere. Because we just knew that Jesus was going to fix everything. And we watched as he was taken into the hands of sinful men. We watched as he was crucified. But somehow they didn't hear what God had said. The Lord had told them, laid it out. It's a must that I'm turned into the hands of sinful men. It's a must that I'm crucified. But it's also a must that three days later, I'm going to rise again. Why is it that we hear the negative part, but not the positive? Why is it that we hear just some of what God is saying? Yes, in the walk that we have with God, there's going to be trials and tribulation. There's going to be struggles and bumps in the road. But it also says we're more than a conqueror. You better tell somebody, you might not know it. But if you have God's spirit, you're more than a conqueror. You better tell yourself, 
learning how to listen to what God is saying is so essential. What does God say to us? I'm a healer. I'm a savior. I'm a deliverer. I'm a way maker. What does he say? If you abide in my word, and let my word abide in you. You could ask anything, and it shall be given. These are the kinds of statements that God makes to us. We struggle in hearing. We struggle. That's why I'm asking the question, is anybody listening? Anybody hearing what God is saying? During this period of time leading up, to today, the Lenten season. We endeavor to pray consistently. And God whispered something into my spirit. I, I know he whispered it into my spirit. Maybe you'll accept it for you as well. He said to me, there's a closer walk possible. I have greater works to accomplish in your life. I can show you miracles and blessings that you didn't think were possible. That's God speaking. Anybody ever hear from God? God ever tell anybody it's going to be all right? God ever tell somebody you're coming out shouting the victory? God ever tell somebody when you cried before him, I heard your cry. I wish I could find somebody that's been listening to what God has to say. I wish I could find somebody that know that this is not just a one day thing, but God has risen from the dead, blessing, providing, making way every single day. I said, I wish I could find somebody that know it doesn't end today, but tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow is tomorrow. God is saying, I've got victory for you. I've got miracles for you. I've got blessings for you. And I came this morning by God's decree to tell somebody, God has something for you. And if I can find the listener, I said, if I can find somebody that's listening to what God is saying, when we get done shouting and we get done praising and we get done saying, thank you, God's going to open up the windows. Saints, he's getting ready to open up the windows and pour out a blessing. I've got to find somebody that no God is able. I got to find somebody that's been listening. You didn't just see something, but God said, as you went into the secret place, I'm going to bring you out shouting. I'm going to bring you out testify. I'm going to bring you out every believer. Lift your voice and tell them thank you. Every believer, get ready to shout a victory shout. God is saying, nobody took my life, I laid it down. But in three days, I'm going to pick it up. Somebody been in a battle. Somebody been in a struggle. But God is saying right now, I'm getting ready to tell that demon, back off, buddy. That's my son. That's my daughter. And I'm blessing them from the crowd. Touch the top of your head. Point to the sole of your feet. And hear God say, you're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. And the devil can't stop me from blessing. Say the Lord. Oh, that need victory. 
Wave your hands. Tell them thank you. I said those that need victory, wave your hands and start praising. Start shouting. Start magnifying. I didn't make it up. But I said, I got a feeling. Everything is going to be all right. I didn't make it up. When I said, Jesus told me, it's God speaking. This is his house. We are his people. He's blessing. He's blessing. Let me see somebody give God the highest praise. Come on and stand with me. Come on and stand with me. Everybody stand with me. Come on and stand with me. I want you to hear what God is saying. He's talking to each one of us. As he spoke to the man at the pool of Siloam, he came up to that man. Man had, for 38 years, was begging for healing. Couldn't get into the pool fast enough. Gave up all hope. But God came to him. And simply said to him, do you want to be healed? How many folks said you need a miracle? God is asking right now, do you want that miracle? Oh, come on and praise him with me. God is asking right now, do you want that miracle? What you gonna tell him? You gonna tell him like that man said it's too late? It's not possible. Or you're gonna say, go ahead and bless me. I want somebody to start talking to Jesus right now. Tell him, bless me right now. Bless me right now. If you never received the Holy Spirit, tell him, fill me right now. Never been baptized? Let me know. We got a pool here to baptize you. Need to be healed? He can touch you right now. Father, in the name of your son, we're hearing. We're listening. In the name of your son, as you walk around this place, bringing salvation, bringing deliverance speak 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 right now in the name of Jesus now listen to me carefully I'm not going to lay hands today but if you need salvation if you need deliverance if you need healing I want you to come and stand in front of this altar and tell Jesus I'm listening to you. I know you have my victory. Come just stand. That's right. Stand in front of the altar. The same God that rose on the third day is going to give you what you're asking for. Talk to him. Jesus is able to bless you just as you are. Don't need to lay hands on you. But the Spirit of God is in the house right now. Father, in the name of your Son, put your hands upon those that have come, those where they're standing, because I hear you saying, 
You've come to bless. You've come to deliver. Do it right now. 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 So folks speak to me today about scheduling a baptism in the name of the Lord. Anytime you're ready to respond to the cry of the Lord, repent and be baptized everyone. In the name of Jesus Christ for remission of sin, we'll baptize you and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now as you go back to your seat, go back knowing that God is speaking to you and his blessings shall flow into your life. Wonderful sin. Wonderful sin. Wonderful sin. So you Oh, yes, Father. Yes, you can return so to your seat. Be free so I can be home. So I can tell everyone I know. You thought I was worth saving. Mm -hmm. So you came and changed my life. You thought I was worth keeping. We're going to prepare to bring our gifts and tithes unto the Lord. Those that are on Zoom and Facebook, certainly you've been a blessing to us. Our Cash App, Dollar Sign CR Church website, communityrefugechurch.org. You have mailed your gifts. P.O. Box 725. But we're going to take what we have. And I want you to make it a special Resurrection Sunday offering. Make it something special, whatever that might be. And come and lay it at the altar. And tell Jesus, I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. Oh, yes, Father. Lord, I thank you. Giving is a part of worship. And that's why we bring our gifts unto the altar. Since it's evening, can I share your testimony? I just want Sister Stevenson to testify. Lord, I thank you. She want to know if I remembered her. I certainly do. Good morning, church. And God bless you all on Resurrection Sunday. I was invited here by a co-worker, Sister Gerline Perrant. And I officially I'm a member at Second Baptist Church in Perth Amboy. So she invited me and not long, well, actually prior to the visit, I had been diagnosed with breast cancer. I had not told anyone other than close friends and family, not even church members where I attend. I came here 
Gerling had shared that information with Bishop Rubin, and he called me in his office and specifically prayed for me. And then he also shared it with the congregation. I am a survivor. From 2011, and I pretty much afford that blessing to obviously the Lord, but also the blessings that I received from each and every member from this church. And I have been so forever grateful for the blessings of the Lord and for Bishop Rubin, First Lady, and Community Refuge. And I am also happy to see that my granddaughter, my first granddaughter, and her family attend here. So I don't attend often, but when there is a special occasion that I can be here to support the family, I do Amen. that. So always, always humbled and grateful for this particular church and its members. God bless you all. God bless you. Now we found out that your granddaughter knew the proper role for grandparents and great grandparents. When she came in, she was going to go seated. I said, here, could you hold the baby? That's what grandparents do, you know. And they, may I just also add, most of my grandchildren, I have four grandsons. They call me Grana. This little one came up with Mima from where I don't know. So God bless her. God bless you. God bless you. Let's give God a round of applause for the healing. We're leaving this place knowing that God has a miracle waiting for you. Now, I told you what the Lord told me. A closer walk is possible. And the scripture that I'm focusing in on says this. If you draw nigh to God, he will draw nigh to you. We're starting on March towards Pentecost. 50 days, 50 days. And I'm going to ask each of our members, each of our well-wishers, our guests, somewhere during this 50 days, during the middle or at the end, we're going to give God a $50 offering. And when we take extra offerings, it's not just to run the church. Your tithes and general offerings do that. These funds are going to be used in our morning reflection ministry to bless those that have need. We run the rally around Thanksgiving and Christmas, but you know people have needs all year round. People have needs. And when folks come, we want to be able to, to bless. So that's between now and Pentecost. Lady Reuben, could you come stand over here by me? Lighten up my, my day. Dr. Luke, can you give us a closing song? Yes, sir. Come on, everybody, stand. And this is our benediction. Lord, I'm listening. Lord, I'm listening. Lord, I'm listening. The Lord is high above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens. And His glory above the nations. His glory above the nations. The Lord is high above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens. And His glory above the nations. And His glory above the nations. Come on and give. Acknowledging him always, and all God's people say, Holly, 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 Hallelujah, 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 Holly, Holly,
Acknowledging him always and all God's 